Hello everybody, it's Linda and I'm finally back to share another project with you. Um, a long, long, long time ago, I mean like several months ago, uh, me and Anna decided to do a challenge. Anna is uh, Sanero one here on YouTube. Our challenge was to make uh, a mini album using the same papers. We use the Graphic 45 Botanical Tea paper line for this album. Uh, what we did, we started out with the same mini album base and I made the base for both the albums and I made them exactly the same. And uh, the deal was that we could uh, do as many flips and flaps and stuff as we wanted and add them to the base of the album. Of course, I filmed my base before I started uh, decorating it because I wanted to show you, but I can't for the life of me find that film so what i need you to do is to pop over to anna's which i hope you will do anyway <laughs> to to check out her album because uh, she shows you the base of the album and uh, you can see it there so i will link to to anna's channel and uh, the movie and the finished album in the description box below so um this is the end result of my album and uh, I hope you like it so let me show you the details um, in addition to the the papers from the paper paper line I have also used some uh, beautiful collage images uh, and um, I will put a link to where I got the images in the description box below so um, I also use this beautiful lace here and the lace is from this garden grove one here on YouTube and uh, it's just gorgeous. The flowers that I use throughout the album is from Wallaby Crafts and uh, I've got some of their paper roses here in different sizes and some rosebuds and um, this is just a piece of uh, trim that I got from a friend and I did some fussy cutting and layering here and this is a Tim Holtz die cut and I also cut a strip from the paper here all, all the way around the edge and just um, added that as a frame to the page um, I also added some beautiful Venice lace here around all the way around the album and some uh, halfback pearl trim so yeah that's the cover and let me show you the spine the spine is really simple just some layered flowers title so let me show you the back and um, the back is just this beautiful paper and the beads around the the edges here so that's the back cover and now let me show you the inside so I try to make my pages coordinate sticking to the same color scheme on both sides and uh, I made a banner here it spells out T and just tied them and here is a pocket behind here where you can put tags and this lady was popped up and, and this lady is also one of the collage images that I used for this album and uh, here are some more of the flowers from Wild Look at Crafts I did some fussy cutting I did some layering and I, I'm quite happy with how that turned out and this is the first page and uh, there's a tag behind her here and a, a little belly band and you can see a, a piece of doily peeking out some flowers and this opens up and you can also tuck in something behind here and here is a, a tag here and um, this opens up and there is a lot of pockets here is a pocket with place for for photos and tags and stuff so when this flips open you have a lot of space for photos and here is also a pocket here 
So here's the next thread. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I just love the flower. Now the papers, they are so beautiful. And there is a tag here. The tag is just cut from the paper. I edged my papers using uh, this, I think it's called Stormy Weather or Stormy Sky, this dressings from Tim Holtz. This opens. And of course, there is a pocket here. So here is just room for photos. And these open with room for photos or journaling tags or whatever. And now we're here and <laughs> these frames are actually workable so you can take these out. I think they're from Melissa Francis or if not they're from Prima. And again you can see the flowers from Wild Good Crafts layered with some lace flowers and some rosebud. Here is a pocket here. I lined it with some flat back pearls. I did some fussy cutting. This opens and of course here is a room for a tag. Let me see if I can find one. Just slide behind here like so these are fussy cut and pop dot and pop dots and some more flowers from wild good crafts uh, oh and this is also a magnet so it can hold a tag like this and um there is no that's not a pocket that's just loose paper <laughs> I have to glue that down. So this, uh, here is the pocket. So you see, I forgot to glue down the paper. <laughs> I have to do that. But there is a, a an envelope pocket here. So the next pages are like these. And these flip open. There are tags behind here. I put a doily. This is a die cut. And here's another one of those collage images and um let's see yeah there's a pocket in here and this flips out the same way with tags and again the pocket there the, there's a pocket in here also no no that's not a pocket and this opens like so Here's a, a pocket and here's some fussy cutting. I did this like a curtain style, just fussy cut it. And uh, just some layers of paper strips. And there is some um, room for photos here. And this opens. Here's another one of those beautiful collage images. I think they was worked just perfect with this paper line. And, and this is from the paper line here. And again, there's a pocket in here. So, and then there's these pages with a lot of room for photos, pockets, and these flip open. There are pockets in here. Same on this side with the pockets and room for photos. Then there's this, and I did some fussy cutting here, and this is a tag behind here. And this opens, and there's a pocket in here, and these are all little pockets, and this opens from the other side. And this is what that looks like. And in here is a, a pocket for a tag or whatever. And um, there's some fussy cutting layered here. And uh, this pulls out like so. And there's a pocket in here. And just it's helped with magnets. Used a lot of magnets in this album. And here's a little bird, and there's the clock again from Tim Holtz, and these are, leaves are from a Martha Stewart punch, and again the flowers from Wild Good Crafts. So, yeah, so as you saw before, this flips out. And here is uh, 
last cover page. As you can see, there's a, a fussy cut bucket behind the lady here. And that's how this looks. So, yeah, I really hope you like my album. I hope you head over to Anna's YouTube channel and check out her album. She did the most wonderful job. She, you know, her, she's the queen of fuzzy cutting and wow, you're going to be blown away by her album and her box. And I, she also made a card for this. So she did a fantastic job. The challenge was wonderful. I had a great time creating this album and I really hope you like it and maybe you're inspired. And if, and if you want to learn how to create a similar base as what we used for these albums, you can check out my tutorial and I will link to it below. Also, I have a tutorial on how to use magnets in your mini album and uh, you can also check that out if you're interested. I will link that as well in the description box below. So thank you all so very much for watching. I really, truly appreciate all your kind comments and I hope to see you again soon. So take care, everyone. Bye-bye.